Tommy, I think it's it's fair to say the uh, the season hasn't started as as expected. Just just how frustrating the first few weeks of the year has it been? Yeah, it's been a tough one. Um, I've, obviously, firstly, it's been sort of an unacceptable performance. Um, you know, the, the losses that we've been in the league, particularly. Um, and then you know you go back to MK on the weekend and um, sort of a sickening blow to sort of losing that fashion when I think you know for for large parts of the game that we got our performance level right up there to where we intended it to be and you know the management had, you know made that clear to us that that was you know up there with the level that we need to be albeit we we didn't get the desired result we knew we felt within it and we could tell coming off the pitch at the end the way the fans were with us that we were somewhat close to that um, but again you know we we need to then get them points on the board and um, the final bit is just sort of fundamentally just being better in terms of our sort of uh, the goals that we're giving away at the minute are a little bit too easy um, and that's not you know something that we've worked really hard on sort of defending and as a, as a team and as a unit and Something that we need to show more in games is that you know giving teams harder chances to score is is key for us to to sort of build on, and um, it's the only way we can go and pick up points really. I suppose over the the course of the season, though, if if those performance levels continue to improve, then results would come. I suppose that's what the the manager's telling you. Yeah, definitely, and I think you know, we're all accountable for that. It's not individuals at the minute, although they are individual mistakes. We're talking about. Um, teammates helping other teammates in certain situations. Um, so, yeah, we've got to take more accountability, and um, we've got to do more. It's, like I say, it's, it's unacceptable to start. No one's saying that you know we're in a position. We're playing well. It's we've had one game where we've got the performance level right up, albeit the cup where we we got a fantastic win at Hull, and it's created this moment here for us. Um, you know, in tomorrow evening. So. Yeah, we we are you know stumbling across something on on the weekend where we need to work harder and have more performances like that. As a, as a senior player, do you feel as much responsibility as anyone to kind of drive and lead those those standards? Yeah, definitely. And you know, when I look across the, the board at the team, you know, I'm seeing people really work hard, work you know, working their socks off to to get us in positions and. Um, there's, there's times when you know we, we're really enjoying parts of the MK Dons game um, second half. You can see everything that we've been working on. Um, but albeit it's, you know you're two 0 down, some would say it's easy to play. Then we had spells in the first half as well, which you know the first ten minutes we we need to be more ruthless. We've said this, you know we work really hard on our finishing and our you know people working off each other. Um, but again, you know new players coming into that front line, it's going to take time. Um, but you can see the way they are sort of creating chances and and the movement to get on the ball, um, which you know for me was was good to be around. Um, we'll have to obviously see more on the weekend. But opportunity now it turns to Wednesday, where we we want to put it right now. And in terms of the boss and coming back in this summer, has, have you kind of picked up where you left off with him? Yeah, definitely. Um, sort of always building on a relationship um, where you know. First and foremost, I know a fair bit about the gaffer before he came in, so I could help the players who were always sort of a little bit nervous with uh, any new manager coming in. They want to know as much as they can. Um, less of a surprise is, is best, but the manager does like to work with surprises at times, which is hard for the players because he also throws me off with things. I think that's the key to it and keeping people on their toes and... Um, Training always has to be like that. You can't expect things always. Um, but yeah, so it's been something that I've been wanting to to learn from him and Cliff as well, and obviously the rest of the staff around it. It's um, certainly at my age, you start to see things differently, and you start to ask different types of questions that, um, well, it'll uh, hopefully accommodate me in, in years to come when I take on a, a similar role. Has he changed much in the few years that he's not been at the club? Yes and no. I think you can. The tangible things that are there that I can really remember are still strong, and you know, and it's hard to take uh, to shake them. Sort of the sort of non-negotiable behaviours that the manager keeps, and and uh, sort of the staffing keep. But there are things where I've seen him come. He's had a lot of success away from the club, um, where he's come and he's uh, you know he's he's more of his own person now as well, which is probably a great thing for the club as well. You know, you're seeing 
and manager really come to his own. And these moments now, which were tried and tested um, with the results going against us, um, we're seeing a different side to that, and it's really helping the, the players believe in themselves more and know that you know we've we've just got to to tune in more, fine tune it, and um, the results will will come, and hopefully. We build up some positive momentum with the results, and we can start looking up rather than down. It's clearly you, you've talked about the, the start of the season being unacceptable from a results perspective. But having worked with him before and knowing what Grant's done during his career, have you got no doubt that he will get it right in the end, however long it takes? Yeah, he's really positive in in, in that fast. You know, he wants to create the best environment for players to go and play, but. There is a sense of um, accountability, not just with the older players and younger players, but you've got to look at the results and you've got to, you know, we've, we've said about the mistakes that have been made in games. Um, we've got to help each other more on the pitch as well. Um, you know, both sides, not defensively and attacking, take chances that are there to be taken. Because we're seeing this in training and it's looking fantastic. And um, the parts of the games that we've had that we've really enjoyed, but we need to score more, we need to create more chances. We've said that, you know, this is a season where we want to get fans off their feet. You know, we're seeing the numbers come in, which is fantastic for the club and fantastic for the players. We've got to keep them there now. Um, so they've very been very patient with us. Now we've got to repay that. Um, hopefully Wednesday is an opportunity where we can do that for them and um, it's building up like that. There's There's been a real, you know, excitement around it for me personally and the players, you know, hearing the tickets that have been sold and, you know, there's something there that you, know, you only get with cup games, which is fantastic and it's, a, it's great to be part of. Yeah, big crowd expected. Is it going to be a, a welcome distraction in a way? It's another game. It's another opportunity um, to sort of stamp our authority the way we want to play. We're still, you know, we, we say this, that we are still a team that's in process, but that doesn't, it's not an excuse. That's an opportunity for me. And um, this is another game against, you know, an excellent club huge club where we can come and um, create uh, you know some some great history here so yeah we've really focused we're dialed in we're just trying to sort of make sure that we are you know ready for this one and um, we've had a good good day's training today um, yeah and hopefully we're ready for it is the pressure off does that help right now a bit of a different competition and a, and a different approach yeah I think it depends on the mindset you go into the game there's there's pressure for every game but you also got to go in there with a little bit of calmness and composure because, you know, the games that we have played with composure and um, sort of, sort of a blue head and been really relaxed that we've we've actually performed to our best in them games, particularly sort of second half against MK. It just seemed like it was one of them games where everybody wanted the ball, everyone received the ball well, and we've got to have a similar performance to that. Um, the energy levels will have to go up. You know, you're playing a Premier League club. Uh, you know that's the way it goes. We'll know that, and we'll match that on the day. We'll, we'll judge that on the day as it comes. So, yeah, it's just one of them where, for now, we have to just play with what we've got, play within what we've got, and um, really give the best account of ourselves on the day. Well, Tommy, how, how pleased we are to see Richard Wood arrive this summer. Now that you're a mere youth within the squad, yeah, it's nice. It's um, it's good. I mean, I always welcome the experience. Um, but the more the character is, is key to me. It's not the, the age of a player. It's, it's often spoken about, but I've got some great great players across the board, different levels, different ages that have got great character now. Um, so for me, he's somebody that he's, you know, he's, he's put his stamp on the team straight away in terms of the organisation. Um, he's a great leader and you can see that, you know, from a mile away. But, um, you know, them sort of soft skills that he's got to communicate with the players, the younger players and bring them along has been key and I think we'll see sort of that going into them times when the games are sort of really thick and fast and maybe sort of October, November time. So, no, it's, it's been great. It's been a great addition and um, we obviously want to enjoy the, the good side of winning together and we've not had too many of them. So, let's, let's see how we go with it. Is he a good person for, for you right now? Because he clearly has some, some ambitions in the game as well. We saw him have a little caretaker stint at, at Rotherham United, who you can work alongside but also learn from. Absolutely, yeah. We're at a similar sort of uh, level of our coaching as well, where we're, we're both bouncing ideas off each other. And, um, you know, he's got his ideas and I've got mine. And, you know, it's great to get that feedback from your fellow peer. To see somebody who's done it and been in that caretaker role, which is, you know, it's not an easy stint that he's gone in and done a good job. Um, just asking questions. I've always been somebody who's been really sort of inquisitive and wanted to learn. 
so you know Richard's always there to to speak and to to discuss things. So, from not just for myself, there's there's other players that you know will share that opportunity as well, and um, yeah, it'd be good ones to see how it grows. Great stuff. Cheers, Tommy. Great to speak as ever. Cheers. Thank you. Tommy, do you think you've got everything you need in that dressing room now compared to maybe last year or the season before that? It's hard to say. I think it's a hard question for me to answer because, um, you know, as a, as a player that you, you sort of trust that the club have got the right resources, which we have, and um, everything seems to be shaping up the right way for the trust not to be down to the players, but the management to make the, the decisions on team team selection. and. The squad selection, if you like, um, you know, when you look across it pre-season, we had some great results, some, you know, some different results as well. But we also thought that this club is has a real unique sort of niche of bringing, of bedding, a, you know, a team of players, a large number, really fast into its squads over the years. Historically, we've done really well, um, and we've obviously got off to a bad start here. Um, but for me, you look at individually and. I'm more than happy with you know some of the ability that we're seeing. Second bit is you know how can I you know not just as a player but try and encourage more and um, you know as a teammate get the best out of each other and we'll start to see that hopefully when we start to win games and we start to to enjoy the the performances of of an MK when it finishes with three points and the fans are more happy with that then. Yeah, for yourself, I wanted to ask you. It feels like you're hitting a bit of form personally. It's just sort of sticking with it, you know. It's hard to to sort of enjoy a game when you're losing. Everyone will say the same. Um, I've always sort of stayed real balanced with my emotions and things. So I very rarely celebrate the highs, and I get too low. Don't get too low on the lows. So I need to stay sort of level-headed through through the moments. And I think that's the best form of leadership for for a young group. Um, they need to see, you know, there's a standard to to where we want to be, and right now we're we're way off it in terms of the league, you know, and constantly we'll be in a position where we are winning games. I have no doubt in that, you know, full confidence that this group of players will achieve that at some point. Um, we just need to start, you know, start that now. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, personally, it's it's a case of just sticking with these moments, and um, you know, taking the next game by its as it is, and you know, we have an opportunity to. To put on a display tomorrow, and you know I'll, I'll work really hard at that. So personally, do you feel you're hitting a bit of form? Uh, you know, it, it's hard for me to say form because our sort of league form is is so poor. Um, do I feel physically like I'm getting there? Yeah, I think I think getting close to it. Um, and I'd like to think that in the next you know next league game or two that we start to see the results changing. That's what we want as a team, and everyone wants as fans and. That's when you can start really, you know, questioning where you're at physically. Um, the league will start shaping up, you know, in the next sort of five to ten games, and um, take it game by game personally. And uh, you know, just as long as I'm staying fit. If I look back at last season, you know, I said to yourself and, and many people that I really struggled for fitness last year, and it was sort of chasing my tail, one thing after another. It was another injury, and you know, when I was fit, I wasn't quite there. I'm fit. I'm strong. I'm just working through, you know, you know the, the challenges of of losing games. But we're we're all really positive amongst that, and we're we're really excited to put that right because we know when we do get winning, there's a, you know there's going to be a great feeling around the club. Feels like it's uh, an easy one to get up for tomorrow night with it being Everton at home. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, we have a we have a you know a goal in mind for the for the season, and um, that's still the same from. The loss over the last three three losses that we've had prior, we, we've every game is important to us this season. You know, we've as a team we agreed on certain things before the season, so that won't change whether or not we win or lose. You know, this is still a big game. We we expect it to be here, and we expect to go further. And that's the commitment from the club and the players. And you know, we're going to give our all to make sure that is um, you know a fact and. We have a chance yeah. to go into the next round. What is the mindset of a, a League Two player when you take on a Premier League team and have a Premier League opposite number? Um, excitement, first of all, you know, it's uh, you, you, you see, everyone watches this match of the day. You know, everyone sees these these names, this club, the history of it is is key. Um, the cup itself is is special because you know you can you can be in a position and all of a sudden round two to round three you get another club. That's that's the key thing for us is. 
is just giving the best account of ourselves. We're very, very focused on, on the performance, but results are also key where we're at right now. So, yeah, it's, it's exciting. The mindset is to, to do as best as you can and um, to be as brave as you can. And that's, that's always going to be the same for a couple of league game. Yeah, I don't know if you're aware, but I don't think Doncaster have ever beaten a Premier League club at the keep mode. So, a chance for some history tomorrow night as well. Yeah, we've had some big ones as well, haven't we, and over the years. Um, and we always seem to sell out when them, them games, which is fantastic. But there is something special there when, when it's full house and, you know, as a player, you can feel that. You can feel that magic's in the air. So, who knows, there's always that one opportunity. Hopefully, we can be that anomaly. Yeah, people are desperate for this to be the, the catalyst that helps you in the league. Can it? Because we often see teams go in the other direction where, you know, it can be quite a... Uh, a come down really after a big cup game in the in the league. No, I don't think so. Personally, I think it's where we are right now. We're in a position of having finished that game so well. Yeah, it hurt. It, it really did hurt after the final whistle on Saturday because we felt like we'd done enough to get something out of it. And that's football, isn't it? it you know, it hits you like that sometimes. But um, you know, we're primed if we can focus on that and get to that level again. Um, this is an opportunity for us to showcase that, and um, you know, it won't it won't do our confidence any bad the way we go out there because we're full of energy. You know, we've seen that in our performances. We just need to make sure that we maintain them sort of the positivity throughout. Um, again, one of the strengths of of the staff and the management is that is picking us up and, and letting us know that you know we're still in a good position. You know, it's it is what it is right now. You just gotta plough for it and. Um, keep purposeful with, with everything you do and um, I don't think there's a drawback from this one personally. Yeah. On the management team you, you mentioned a, a few surprises Grant and Cliff have thrown in, could you share some detail? No, just in general um, I think throughout my whole career all managers have always used that and I worked with the gaffer previous and he'd, he'd only been a manager at Peterborough prior to that so something you'd probably do and learn as you grow with, with clubs and he's got a lot of success at at Hull and he's, he's been to Peterborough another big club so I think you just pick up things along the way and um, we're definitely seeing you know the challenges every day in training and it's how they can make us accountable in, in training um, as opposed to just doing as you're told listen you don't learn much in that sort of environment personally speaking um, and you know as an older player it brings the best out of you when you're directing and you know you're, you've been more vocal with your teammates which has a huge impact on a match day. Can you recall a cup upset in your career? And, and if so, how did you do it? No, um, we've obviously had sort of lower to get to a sort of way. We got to Arsenal, didn't we, with the oh. previous um, time I was at the club, which was an amazing occasion. And it was nearly an upset. One mm. nil away there wasn't too bad. Um, but yeah, then I can't remember any big upsets that we've had um, over the years, to be fair. so something that I'm keen to, to address and to put right and hopefully it's, it's a turning point. Great stuff, thanks for your time. Thank Can you. Can you remember, Tommy, I'm old enough now to remember when Donny were at the, the old ground and they were having cup upsets, I think the big Aston Villa and Man City and uh, they, almost got, they almost got to the semi-final against Arsenal as well. Do you remember watching them as a, any of them as a young, young pro or anything? No, but I do remember the games in them days and I think you, you're talking about a generation of um, fan yeah. base there as well that I yeah. believe remembered that. And I think that to me is that's the inspiration that we've got to take as players because yeah. fans want to go to them games and they want to be part of something like that. So just going back to your question, can we create that now yeah. is, is key. And it's you know, it's every player's gonna sit here and say that, but yeah, I know what you, mean. you know, if we want to reconnect the city and take this club further, that's the sort of history that we have to create. And um I think everything's in place, you know, looking at the, the squad and the management. Yeah, we've, we've got an opportunity here and it's going to take, you know, real brave performance and let's go and do it. It might come at a good good time as well. You're a little bit started out slowly, a little bit down in the dumps. This, this could come at a decent time for you, couldn't it? Absolutely, yeah. And again, you know, we're not, we're not going to settle for a good performance, but yeah. we know what a good performance can do. We know where we need to go. We know what we need to do yeah. and where we need yeah, to go, yeah. but it is key that we... We believe, and we try and get connect yeah. that. You know, the old fan base with the new fan. It's so key that we always work at that. Um, and this is a great opportunity. It's important you get something. I mean, obviously, it's tremendous if you manage to get through. But taking something from this performance, getting the fans 
on board in the in the 90 minutes and that they're going home with positive memories talking about the performance isn't it yeah and uh, you know as a player you yeah. you find them moments very hard immediately after a game to yeah. sort of enjoy and you, it's always a sad moment losing like I said at MK it was sort of bittersweet but you see the fans and yeah. the way they reacted to us was great but you know you've let them down um, but when you look back at it over a couple of days after and we yeah. do a lot of analysis that's key for us then to say yeah do you know what we can use this springboard let's go um, but you know that's something that we can work on but we will we'll go in there yeah. this is going to be a good game for us I think we're excited for it and um, yeah let's bring it on and you would think that Everton will go reasonably strong because they need a result as well really they've had a, a yeah definitely slump. Yeah. I mean certainly from the sort of uh, the analysis we've looked at personally you know we, we expect them to play a strong side and yeah so it's a big game for them as it is for us um, yeah. so you know everyone's watching so who can be the bravest in the day yeah you know.